Winter comes to Lake Placid, New York as a consequence of the orbit of the tilted Earth. During this time, snow begins to fall when the clouds become cold enough and the surface of the lake begins to freeze from top down. And what we do in the history of winter is we apply stratigraphy. The geologic stratigraphy helps us to understand the history of the Earth. Consequently, the stratigraphy of the snow on the ground and in the thickness of the lake ice helps us to understand the history of winter. Over the years since 2001, we've had many different kinds of groups, uh, mostly teachers, and the main idea is to, is to embed them. Don't teach them how to teach, but give them scientific content and have a real understanding of how science is done using snow and ice. So we put together a team. Uh, uh, I'm Peter Wasileski, a scientist here at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center. And uh, I started this whole thing with the help of, of uh, Dr. Gabries, who is Director of Education here at Goddard Space Flight Center. And uh, I got an old buddy from my first trip to the Antarctic, Tony Gao, who is now retired from the U.S. Army Coal Regions Laboratory in Hanover, New Hampshire. And then along the way, we have Eric Irby from the U.S. Department of Agriculture and Alan Lunsford who's our kind of techno expert, also from working here at the Goddard Space Flight Center. And then Mary Hindelang, who's been added most recently, who's dealing with winter ecology. So with the science team that we've assembled, uh, we feel that we can deliver a very effective program uh, to teachers, to, to uh, college professors, to, to uh, teachers in training. And that's our main, main goal. The time spent at Lake Placid is, uh, is really carefully designed. Uh, some of the, the minimal amount, amount of time is spent indoors in the so-called classroom setting. Most of the time is spent outdoors. And we apply the same basic techniques that NASA scientists, NOAA scientists, and weather scientists use to study the snow and ice and it's almost like ground validation to verify the accuracy of sensors on NASA satellites that look down at the atmosphere. So there's a very good connection between what we do up there and what NASA does here at the Goddard Space Flight Center.